Okay, demonstrating a sprawl with a partner this time. So my opponent has shot in on me, and what I want to do is I want to throw my hips heavy over the top of his head. Now I want to get off my knees, throw my, my uh, feet back on my laces, like this. Now because I'm on my laces, I'm, and I'm arching my back here, and I'm pushing him away. I'm really, really heavy on his head, all right? I could push him away from here too, but I'm gonna be even heavier if I can push him away from here because I wanna push my hips into him. I'm on my laces. Now, as long as I'm on my laces, I'm good. So he starts driving into me, okay? Now, I'm just gonna stay here on my laces and he's gonna push me straight back. Now, you may notice I actually had to go down to my knees to let him push me back. The reason I had to go down to my knees is because this particular type of wrestling shoes, there's rubber on the, on the top. Uh, not, not a lot on the top, but because there's rubber on the top, I'm not gonna be able to slide. So even though I'm on my laces, that rubber is preventing me from sliding. So as he pushes forward, I gotta go to my knees and arch my back like this. Now I'm gonna be, I'm fine. I'm fine here. Now, one of the problems is when people do a block out as if it is a sprawl instead of a sprawl. So a block out is a sprawl when you throw one hip in. It's not, it, a lot of people call it a sprawl and it is a sprawl, it's a type of sprawl. So my opponent shoots in on me and I'm gonna block him out. So if he's going in for a double, I'm gonna feed him one of my legs. So I throw one hip in and I sprawl like this, okay? So without a partner, a block out looks like this, okay? A lot, of, a lot of teams practice this, okay? So a lot of teams practice block outs instead of sprawls, but they don't call it block out, they say sprawl. So nobody knows how to actually sprawl. If I do a block out, throw this hip down, okay? Now, that means this hip is up because I fed him this leg to get this leg away from him. Well, if he's anywhere near my leg, say he has his uh, hand on my, my inside leg, I can't stay here. I gotta go to a sprawl. I can block him out initially, but I gotta go to a sprawl. If I stay here, what he's gonna do is he's gonna knee slide with his inside leg to get his head up, right? And now he's gonna dump me to my back, okay? So I can't stay in a block out, all right? If he doesn't, let's say he's got the other leg. So I do a block out. So I do a block out, I feed him one leg to get a leg away from him, all right? If he has this leg, he can dump me. But if I'm not fast enough, all right, he's got this leg, uh, what he can do now, uh, he can get his head out because this leg is, the rubber is on the mat, he can drive up and he can drive me to my feet. I'm not going to be able to stay on him because if my rubber's on the mat, I can't slide away. So blockouts are fine, but only for the first one tenth of a second. So if I'm going to do a blockout and do this, I can't stay here. I have to immediately go into a real sprawl and get my head, both of my hips square to the mat like this and get on my laces. Now he tries to drive me up to my feet. He's not going to be able to do it because I'm on my laces or I'm on my knees and pushing my hips forward. He's not going to be able to peek out as long as I keep his head underneath me. So I'm in much, much better position. All right. He's going to drive forward a little bit. Eventually he's going to figure out this isn't working. He's going to stop. So after he stops, okay, fine. Now I go into my offense, right? So there's a difference between a blockout and a sprawl. Blockouts are good, but they're not the same thing as a sprawl. I say a sprawl is superior defense.